Nick Watt. Well, we asked the government uh, for an interview to discuss the whole thing, but they declined. However, I am joined now from Cambridgeshire by the Conservative MP, Heidi Allen, who's a member of the House of Commons Work and Pensions Select Committee. Very good evening to you. Are you in the camp that doesn't like universal credit or just thinks it's been done on the cheap? <laughs> um, I'm in the camp like pretty much everybody, really, um, including um, the majority of the poverty fighting charities like Trussell Trust, etc., in saying that universal credit will be a fantastic sy system. It will transform people's lives and get them into work. But I'm also of the camp, as I have been um, since I first sat on the Select Committee, saying that there are things that we need to do to improve it, to make it that poverty fighting machine that it deserves to be, because its heart was ripped out, as you've already alluded to, um, in budget cuts. And that's the, the money, the petrol we need to put back into the system. Right. So... Now, we'd always ask a Labour politician this if they came on and said they want more money spent on it. What would you support as a way of putting more money in? Do you want higher taxes or, or just higher borrowing? Or do you want cuts in other spending? <laughs> well, it, it's, it's partly a circular argument. So, first and foremost, I don't think, you know, some of the headline figures going around uh, about £200 loss a week for claimants. Um, I don't think the, the problem is as big as that, actually. But what we do need to do is focus on a couple of groups that are severely disadvantaged, which are single parents looking to move into work and second earners. Now, both of those are the sorts of people we really want to get into work because they will start generating tax. Um, and they're the two groups that are more disadvantaged in the system than any other. So, yes, I can't pretend it won't cost money. For me, if that in the interim meant putting taxes up, I would do that. But actually, I think you'll find that they would pay for themselves very quickly because it's, you know, it's, it's the, um, the engine, if you like. If we can't keep the engine ticking over at the lower end of the economy, the low paid work, then the whole economy will suffer. So it would cost around about two and a half billion to restore work allowances to where they should be for single so, parents and second earners. But I think economically we'd see the reward of that very quickly. Yeah, no, so it may not cost two and a half billion, but that would certainly be the, the estimate. The really interesting thing you said in that quite long answer, I thought was that you really do support putting right. up taxes because that actually is, it seems, where the Conservative Party's going, that the sort of the long years of just driving public spending down, that, that mood has gone. And you're, 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 you're happy to say, you're, you're happy to, to see taxes go up to pay for better public services and welfare. Well, I think the world that we live in now is very different from the one 20 or 30 years ago. People... Um, very honestly now, except we're all living longer, the NHS will need that additional funding to come from somewhere. And people are pragmatic about that. You know, you can't create public services out of thin air. They need to be paid for. And we've come a long way in um, controlling our economy and making the debt and the deficit more um, manageable. But we do need to release those purse strings because otherwise we risk stagnating. And that's, for me, why the investment in universal credit is so important, because we need to keep the economy ticking over by single parents, second earners okay. going into work. Without the right support, we risk them not going to work at all. OK, let me just ask you one last one. Because you were elected MP for the Conservatives in 2015. In that election campaign, your party campaigned that it was going to cut welfare by £12 billion. Everybody said, you can't do it without penalising the poor. George Osborne said, trust us, trust us, we can do it, we've done it before, we'll do it again. Where did you think, when, the, when you were elected on that manifesto, where did you think the money was going to come from to cut welfare by £12 billion? Or did you never believe it either? Um, let's just say I had my wake-up call when I made my maiden speech in the October of 2015 which was the, the, the moment of, of the tax credit U-turn, if you like. I understood that I think it was a, a promise too far and that it would potentially do more damage and more harm than good. Um, and since then, as I've learned more and more about universal credit and other um, members of all sides of the House have, I think it's that balance point. The system does work really well, but it needs to be funded properly. Heidi Allen, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.